now we're into the second lesson uh, of using Weebly. Now, as intuitive as it may be, it's very not Microsoft. Uh, very different from what we're accustomed to using something like Word, let's say, where we would just be able to come in here and start typing and insert tables and that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> I'm hoping by the time you watch this video, you've you've created, you've picked the theme, of course, and then you've picked, created your pages, okay, and now we're ready to start working on our actual pages. So the page is empty here, and it, I can now start dragging things into my page if I want to. And it, if you're not on the page that you want to be, then you would, you would simply go back to pages and then click on whatever page that you'd like to be. Just one thing that I I didn't mention in the last lesson is that as you're asking for a new page, let's say I wanted a new page now um, for another course. Let's say I have geography. So geo, let's say. Now, instead of hitting set savings and then getting kicked out of this, I can actually move this. If I wanted this to be in one, and I do, I can move it now before I actually save the settings and see it locked in. So this way you're able to add all of your pages without leaving this window. So that's an important little thing to remember. And then when you're done adding all of your pages, you can then go save settings. So from here, I'm going to, I want to make sure that I'm on the geo page here. So I'm going to go to edit page. So now I'm on that page. And now I'm able to start adding things to this page. There are no tables here, uh, but you can replicate tables. You can make it look like a table. So we can go with the two column layout and then drag it down here. And even though you have two, two columns, um, you're not able to start typing right in here. You need to, to ask for either a paragraph or title or paragraph with title and then drag it in. So you're going to have elements inside of elements. Uh, the other thing you need to know is because we don't have a table, we can't add a column. So if you wanted three columns, you literally have to take another two column layout and drag it into one of the, the two columns. And if you wait a little bit here, you're now going to have three columns. And if you wanted four, you have to do the same thing again. So you're, you're kind of putting two columns inside of columns. It's a little messy in my humble opinion. I'm hoping that they clean it up a little bit. It's still a relatively new product. So if they add tables, I would be very happy. But you still can't start typing in here. If you want to start typing, you've got to bring in paragraph, okay, or title text, whatever. You're going to be spending most of your time on the elements tab, the design tab, which you've already done. You've gone through all the designs, you've edited, you've changed your picture, that kind of thing, and your pages tab. Those are the three places where you'll be spending a lot of your time. But I also want you to know that within elements, you've got basic elements, which are which are here. Okay, and though we can't embed a video directly, we can once again uh, embed one of our YouTube videos. So if I go to multimedia here, I get a brand new tab, and we can create a, a photo gallery based on photos that we have. We can create a slideshow. Okay, uh, these are professional versions. We don't have the pro edition; we just have the regular edition. Uh, but here, YouTube. So if I want to embed a YouTube video, it's actually a lot simpler than uh, the WordPress. You know, if if you did the WordPress. You, you'll remember it wasn't all that easy. So now I've just dropped in my YouTube here, and it gives you a default uh, video. So I'm just going to uh, delete this one here, uh, if I can. Will it let me? All right, I have I have too many elements in there that I didn't want, uh, but that's okay. So here, if you hit play, it embedded its own video here. Just just stop it. And then what you'd want to do is you just want to paste your URL there, okay? So now because I knew I was going to be doing this, I made sure I have my uh, my YouTube account open, and I've got a video lesson here that I want to put in there. All right, so we're not you, you don't even have to embed. You simply copy and paste the URL of your YouTube video. So we're just going to copy that, and we're going to paste it right into here. And then I believe you have to hit enter. And there it is. So it's just automatically, instantly, and easily embedded your YouTube video right in here. Okay, and you can change the size, you can change this the location, so you can fiddle with the the, the small trivial things uh, whenever you'd like. 
The other thing that you need to do is, is every once in a while you're going to need to and want to publish to make sure that this stuff goes up on your website. So I'm going to hit publish real quick here. And it's asking where do you want to. It's always going to ask. And of course, we're going to stick with the free. And then when you hit continue here, this might take a couple seconds because I'm recording and I'm at home where it's a little bit slower. It, it's telling you that it's been published. That's the important part. It, here, it keeps trying to sell you uh, a website, right? So you're always going to be asked this. If you hit continue, it's going to want, it's going to ask you for money. So just pay attention, be aware of what it is it's asking you to do. It's always going to ask you this. And of course, I don't want to do this, right? I just want to look at my website. So then you can click here and that will bring you to your website on the internet. So it's actually publishing this to your URL and you can see what your website really looks like because it's it's live, it's, it's online right now. So I can go here, I can go here, and actually I did it on the Geo page, I believe. And then I can play this and see exactly how it's going to work. And then go back to home. And when I'm done looking at it, admiring it, I can close this and go back to work here. And when you're done here, just close this window. And you can go back to work on this page or any other page. A couple more things I want you to know. Um, if you hit close here, it'll just bring you back to your main menu where you'll see your sites. Now, you're allowed two sites with one account. And right now I've got two different sites with this account. I have Centennial Business where I'll be putting business information and I have this that I use for the sake of the example. Um, one thing that I really like for, for businesses, uh, you might be building one of these for a local business, for somebody in your family who's got a business. They're able to, from this view, go to stats. And I really like this because you can go to stats here and it's going to tell you how many people have viewed your page on any given day. Now, of course, because I didn't have a website, nobody looked at them up until here. But then when I built it here on the 18th, I had three views. And as far as unique visitors, I also had three different people. Okay, so probably two other teachers that I told about this that I wanted them to check out. Now, if you're a business and you're advertising, you, of course, are hoping that people are being driven to your site. You could be using Google to advertise. You could be using any kind of advertising media to drive people to your site. You can even be using Twitter to ask people to go to your website. There's so many ways to get people to go to your website. But this tool, a free tool, allows you to track how many people are actually hitting your site. I absolutely love this feature. And if you, if they decide to pay for the pro account, you're then also able to determine where they came from. So whether they came from Google or whether they came from another search engine, you'll be able to track where your traffic is coming from. Very cool. The other thing I wanted to mention is you can also drop a contact form into here. And they give you a basic form that can easily be edited in any way that you want. Okay, so you can you don't have to stick with these fields. So if you don't want, let's say, comment, but instead you want them to pick from a list, okay, you can do that. So from here, I would click here to edit this form. And now you've got all your form options coming up. So here, I believe I can come here and get rid of the comment section. And then if I wanted to, I could put in a drop down. So let's say for the cougar clothing that we sell online, I can now change this. Okay, so I can edit this here and say rather than option one, they can either pick a t-shirt. Now because I'm recording right now, it's going to be a little quirky, but this should work fine for you. So from here, you should be able to, you should be able to edit. Now, um, the beauty of these forms is that whatever email you have attached to your Weebly, when the people are done submitting the form, it, the information automatically gets emailed to you without them knowing what your email address is going to be. So make sure you try to add one of these to your website and then test it. Publish it, go online, make sure that it works. Because again, I, I want you to do this for, for school, but 
there's nothing to stop you from going home and, and publishing some of these on your own for people who actually run a business.